This is an educational video on humerus fracture repair. The shoulder joint is composed of the humeral head and the glenoid. The humeral head articulates with the glenoid. The rotator cuff, deltoid, and pectoralis muscles attached to the proximal humerus. Proximal humerus fractures occur with direct trauma to the arm or shoulder with or without axial loading. They can be a low energy injury such as a fall or a high energy injury from a motor vehicle crash. Patient examination is key. Usually there is shoulder pain and swelling, deformity and decreased range of motion, bruising on the chest and arm. The injury occurs after a fall. There may be history of osteoporosis. There may be muscle weakness and or sensory changes. There is possibly an axillary nerve injury associated. There are four main fracture parts, the anatomic neck, the greater tuberosity, lesser tuberosity, and the humeral shaft. The workup typically includes shoulder x-rays to evaluate for fractures. CT scan is helpful for severely accommodated fractures in preoperative planning. And an MRI is obtained when there is concern for a rotator cuff or other soft tissue injury. Here are some shoulder x-rays you can see on these two views, a 100% displaced uh, comminuted fracture of the uh, proximal humerus uh, in the multiple pieces. This one definitely requires surgery to put the head on the neck. Non-surgical treatment indications are minimally displaced surgical neck fractures, greater tuberosity fractures with less than 5 mm displacement, and when the patient is a poor operative candidate for other medical reasons. Uh, treatment is in a shoulder sling immobilizer, and early range of motion is started within two weeks. Surgical treatment indications for open reduction internal fixation are a displaced greater tuberosity fracture, more than 5 mm, two, three, or four part fractures, a humeral head splitting fracture uh, in a young patient. Surgical treatment options include closed reduction and pinning, intramedullary rotting, shoulder orthoplasty, or open reduction and internal fixation with a lateral humeral plate. Here on the right is the proximal humerus plate from Arthrex. And here are postoperative shoulder x rays uh, showing the uh, plate uh, reducing the head to the neck uh, in multiple views. Post surgical care involves placement into an arm sling after surgery. At three weeks postoperatively, passive range of motion uh, is begun and the patient must remain non-wearing on the operative extremity for six weeks. Thank you.